Wildcats had a strong start to playoff season with a sweep this past weekend against the Yukon Huskies with scores of 5-2 on Friday and a 2-1 win on Saturday. They'll be on the road this weekend taking on the Providence Friars at the Schneider Arena in Providence, Rhode Island. Brian, can you give us some insight on this past weekend's big couple wins? Absolutely. It certainly didn't come easy for the Wildcats, but they were able to get it done here at the Woodamore Center with a two-game series sweep. Talk about game one first. It was all Wildcats in this one, 5-2. Most of their offensive production came from that first line in Casey Thrux, Matt Willows, and Grayson Downing. Danny Taroni obviously had a strong night in net so with that aggressive play like he always has shown us these past couple of games. Heading into Saturday night, though, the Huskies did not go down without a fight. And you talk about goaltender Rob Nichols had a career game with 42 saves that night. And the Wildcats kept putting it on, and Grayson Downing was able to pot in that second goal and put the series away for the Wildcats. But Looking into this weekend against the Friars, you know what they're getting in goaltender John Gillies. He's one of the top goaltenders here in Hockey East, but they know they got to keep going strong, keep attacking the puck, keep putting pucks in the net. And I look forward to this. The Wildcats are riding a hot streak here with seven wins straight, and the Friars were the preseason favorite to win Hockey East. So I think this is the matchup to look for, and I look forward to it. The Wildcats are aware that they'll be facing a challenge with goaltender John Gillies of the Friars, but they're confident in their ability to put some pucks in the back of the net. Uh, making sure that we get uh, Gillies to move and, and get uh, quality shots on him. Uh, you know, he's going to probably handle the first shot if you give him an opportunity to see it. So we need to, uh, when we can, you know, take his eyes away, screening, and uh, be ready, have somebody there for rebounds. Um, I think if we do that, you know, that gives us uh, an opportunity because he's he's that good. Yeah, I mean he's obviously a pretty well-known goaltender throughout college hockey. Um, he has been since freshman year, so we know we got to pepper him with shots and get everything to the net because um, most likely it's going to be a rebound goal or rebound goals this weekend. He's he's very good, so just, just shoot. You know, I mean, the obvious thing is using his size, but um, I'd say you just. When you're going down on him, he, he takes away everything. Um, so we got to get him moving. Um, that's how I know we scored a lot previously is getting moving and open up his, uh, you know, open up the five hole, open up his legs a little bit. But if you're going down one-on-one -on -one with him, he takes away almost everything. So he, he's good in that way. But uh, we've done some, obviously some scouting with our goalie coaches. And, you know, uh, I know Coach Bork has sent us out some videos and some tips. So look at that and, I mean, get him moving and hopefully open him up a little more. I mean, obviously it's, I mean, I don't know how they're feeling, but I know we're feeling good, and we just got more confident from this past weekend versus UConn. So hopefully we can just keep that going. It's more of kind of peaking at the right time. Uh, obviously we had a tough stretch, so to know that we're playing our best hockey at the you know perfect time of the season is definitely you know confidence booster. Um, not too much pressure on us; just a matter of keeping it going. The Wildcats will be on the road this weekend at Shiner Arena in Providence, Rhode Island. The first time they've been at the PC's Arena in, since last year, and I think. Right now, it's going to be a very up-and-down matchup. I think you're going to see strong goaltending from both John Gillies and Danny Taroni. I think the Wildcats have to stick to the game plan, though, put pucks in the net, get Gillies to move. I think it's going to be a very exciting and very hard-fought matchup to see who advances to the Garden. Tune in as the Wildcats start out their quarterfinal series this Friday at 7 p.m. at Schneider Arena. For Brian Dunn, I'm Kelsey Campbell, UNH Wildcat Productions.